Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, where you can explore new skills, you can deepen your existing passions, and you can literally get lost in creativity. I personally preferred the filmmaking class by Penny Lane. For an annual membership, Skillshare is literally less than $10 a month. But because I love you guys so much, for a very limited time, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to go click and try Skillshare Premium Membership for absolutely free. Yes, I said it, absolutely 100% free for a trial. So head down there right now, click that link, and go start to create. What is up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day today. I hope everybody's just doing fantastic, kind of living your life, doing your thing. But most importantly, I hope everybody is staying positive. Yes, you heard it. I said, I hope that you are staying positive. Why am I pointing this at you? I should not, you should never point objects at people very close range, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, so here we go. So I actually have something very interesting today for all of you out there. We're doing an acrylic painting today, but not just any acrylic painting. We are doing a painting today that you can do right now. You can absolutely do this right now. This is gonna be super easy, basic. It's just all the things. It's super easy. You can do this. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put my Instagram info right about there. I want you to paint something similar or paint this. And I want you to share it with me on Instagram because that's how much confidence I have in believing that you can do this. You have to have the confidence as well. You have to believe that you can do this. This is acrylic, there's really no cleanup involved. Let's go ahead, jump into this video. I'm super excited. I'm excited. These are golden paints, acrylic paint. Nothing fancy, nothing special. All the information right down below in the description. Thank you for the feedback, everybody, as far as the angles, the camera angles. Yes, this is like literally like a full-time job editing these kind of videos, but I'm super happy to be able to give you this angle right here. And I'm also super happy to give you this angle right there. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, whoa, that almost was a catastrophe. What am I gonna do about that? I'm gonna hold my colors up here. I'm gonna show you my colors, okay? So I'm gonna kind of just hold them right up here. These are the same colors that I use when I use oil paint, okay? These are made by Golden. Golden Artist Colors, acrylic paints, all right? Nothing crazy here, nothing, no secrets, anything like that, all right? So, all right, all right, all right. I gotta figure out a way to hold this without getting paint on me so you can see it. All right, so here's my little palette right there. Yeah, yep, you heard it, you've seen it. All right, so I'm gonna do this first. I'm just gonna grab some white paint. See that? I'm using a three-quarter flat brush. I'm gonna get some white paint, all right? And until I change and do something different, that's all I'm gonna be doing is scooping some white paint up on the brush. Here we go. I'm gonna start from halfway, okay? Taking that white paint, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm just gonna work that around. I probably could have grabbed some water as well, but you know, it's all right. So I'm working, look, about, I don't know, about halfway, all right? I'm just scooping up some more white paint. That's all that I'm doing. And I'm gonna work this up, kind of scrub it in, all right? Dun, dun, dun. Just like this. And what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because this is sort of gonna act as a medium here. I, I just definitely have to work fast. You know, because as you know, acrylics, they do dry quickly, all right? All right, so we got some of that going right about there. Now, the only thing I did not get a cup of water to clean my brush. Um, I do have two of the three quarter brushes here, so I'm gonna have to just kind of, you know, have one light, one dark, and just use a paper towel to wipe them off, okay? And this is an 11 by 14 canvas, just so you know. All right, now, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, without wiping the brush, well, you can just give it a quick wipe like that. All right, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the blue. See that? It's not necessarily a tiny bit, but it's some. See that? Get it on there, get it on there. So now we're working with blue. And I'm gonna start at the top. See that? Let's go back and get some of that dark color. Start in the top corners, 
and we're going to just kind of work our way across very similar to what we do when we oil paint start at the top and we're going to work our way down work our way down work our way down see that all right a little bit more all right i'm just getting a little bit more of this paint here and i just want to get the paint up here on the canvas because i don't have much time because it's going to dry all right so get that paint up there get it up there get it up there all right <clears throat> Work it in, work it in. All right, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go back and forth. Actually, watch this. Let's drag some of that color down. See that? Drag it down. I want it super light towards the bottom there. Super light. Super light. How many times am I gonna say super light? Dark corners, see? Dark blue in the corners. It's like a perspective thing or something. I don't know. It just helps. It helps when somebody looks at your painting. It really does. All right. And I am working down like that. Let me just have a quick look at that real quick. All right, I'm going to set my palette down for just a second here. Now, <clears throat> paper towel. Look at that. See? I'm just going to wipe that off. Oh, fix my Furby. All right. Wipe that off. Now, I'm going to try to smooth this, okay? I wiped the brush off, going back and forth. Now, this is not going to be some, you know, crazy beautiful sky because I'm not really, I don't know, just not really worried about that right now, okay? It's a blue sky, okay? All right, let's set that back down. All right, so now, you know me, I like painting trees, and when I say to people when they ask me, what do I do? I've lost my creativity or I've lost that spark. I say paint a tree. Trees are my favorite, okay? All right, so here we go. Here we go. Got this brush, same brush, only brush we've been using so far. Now, I'm gonna put in some background material. Maybe it's trees, maybe it's this, maybe it's whatever. It's whatever. So for that, let's take a little bit of the green. I'm gonna take a touch of the brown, touch of the blue. All right, blue, brown, green. Let's go over here and steal some of this white. All right, so this is our mix. It's a very pale, just a pale green is what it looks like, huh? A little blue, brown. All right. All right. I'm going to set that down because I need to wipe this a little bit on the paper towel. And I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to smash some stuff in like this. I'm just going to smash some color in. All right, and then I'm going to just kind of like blend it upward. Now, this is going to be like background I mean when I say background material these are some these are maybe trees or something that's way I mean way out in the distance we can barely even see these things see that I mean they are just so far out there that's way in the background right there okay so let's do this let's grab a little bit more blue into that color all right good angle yeah maybe maybe not a little bit more blue into that green and brown Make it a little bit darker. Now, I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to come underneath of this, and I'm just going to, I just want to smash some of this color in, in front of it. Just a little bit. All right, now I know that looks totally goofy right now, but you can tap, I mean, you can press, you can do all kinds of things, all right? I'm just, for the sake of time, I'm just going to do this. Just loosely scribble it in. You see that? Scribble it in. Now, let's, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. We got, am I in focus? I'm in focus. Let's get a dark color. Blue, black, brown, green. See that? All the colors. Blue, black, brown, green. All those colors. All right. Scoop some up. Now, I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to start. Let's take some from our pile. Blue, black, brown, and green. And let's just get it in here. I just want to get some of this dark color down on the canvas okay just kind of filling it in that's all we're doing right at this moment we're just filling some color in because this stuff is going to dry pretty quickly so all i'm doing blue black brown and green 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 all right and you can start scrubbing it upward a little bit and it'll get a little bit lighter see heading further away it's going to be a little lighter that is what we looking for here all right work this back and forth 
So now we got our dark colors going in. And let's do this. Smashing in. Get some of that blue, black, brown, and green. See that? Mm-hmm. I see it. Do you? Yeah, I see it. Why are you talking to yourself again? All right. Now, let's take some green, actually. That's what I just did. Takes a little, take a little bit of green. All right. And, and I'm just going to just, I don't even know what's going on here. I'm just doing something. You know, this is just, I don't know what this is, okay? I'm not, I mean, I'm being up front. Don't know what it is. It's something. It is something. Let me set the palette down real quick. Wipe it off on the paper towels. As a matter of fact, I like paper towels. I, I really do. So let's do this. I am actually going to rip a paper towel. See that? I just ripped that paper towel off. I'm going to just kind of bend the corners up a little bit. See? Right here. I'm going to go back here, and I'm actually just going to, I'm going to take my paper towel and make our little background thing. See that? I'm just going to stamp it in. See? Do it like a boss. <laughs> Do it like you own it. See, I'm just making little shapes and, I mean, this stuff is, it's background material. That's all it is. Nothing crazy, all right? Here we go. I'm gonna take some brown and black. Can you see that? Brown, black, brown, black, brown, black. So it's a very dark brown, very dark brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna zip in a tree trunk somewhere here. So maybe I'll come up here like this, a little off to the side, bring him in like this and just kind of, you know, just kind of work him that way. Go back up here, get some of that dark brown color again. Very, very just dark brown. Come in here and let's work on the other side. See, bring him down. All right, something like that. Now, going right back up here, just getting some of that dark color. Fill it in, fill it in, just like you're coloring in a coloring book. And, and listen, just so you, to be clear, the purpose here is I'm just trying to show you what you can do. That's it. I'm just trying to show you, you can do things. Okay. And you can do them quickly. All right, let's get some more of that brown and black color. And I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a branch coming, growing right up off of him like this. Maybe he goes right off a little bit more black, brown. Okay. Same colors, same colors. And you know, let's give him something here. We've got something growing right there. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. And we're black and brown. I'm loading it like this, see? And then maybe a little, little one right there. Now, let me step back and take a look at this. Looks good so far, looks good so far. All right, now I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm just wiping this off. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off. And now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the same brush. We have not used any other brushes. I haven't washed it with water or anything. All right, I'm going to scoop up some white, maybe put the, you know, just some white there, and I'm going to take some yellow ochre, white and yellow ochre, and it's going to dirty up a little bit, and that's okay. That's no big deal. Touch of brown, actually, in there. Dull that a little bit. I don't want it to be this super bright highlight yet. See? Yellow ochre, white, and some brown. And I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to put in a few... Little highlights on the left side, okay? Back into my pile. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not too worried about up here because there's gonna be leaves and things up here, but maybe maybe there's that branch that goes in the front like this. All right. You know, something like that there. See, I'm slicing that in right now. I'm just kind of slicing it in. It's just a little highlight color is all it is. All right, now look, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that white, right? A little bit more of that white add it in. It's a little bit of a lighter color, hopefully. And I'm going to just drop in a few little things here. See? Just like this. Little textures and such. All right. I'm going to wipe that off. Let's wipe that off. Give it a good wiping. 
pure white pure white make this painless for you straight up white little bit little bit see that yeah you see it you see it i'm going to come right here a little bit there 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 i just want like a cool nice bright tone see that something like that right about there dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 all right all right all right so now now here we go now we're going to go into some dark colors we put some light colors in let's go into some blue and black okay no brown just blue black is good blue black even what am I, why am i standing over there blue and black all right blue and black let's uh about here let's drop in just a little bit of a little bit more blue black i'm going to drop in some shadows just some dark, you know, dark tones. Blue's a very good color for this. That's why I got a little black in there, a little blue. Right about there, something like this. Give it a nice little feel, see that? It's okay, rub some in down here. Nice and easy. All right, I'm sure you can do without the sound effects. I'm sure you can. See, we got some shadows, we got some highlights in there. I mean, it's like, it's, it's already coming to shape. You know what I mean? <clears throat> now I'm wiping this off, wipe it off. Dun, dun, dun. And you can smooth some of this out if you choose to do so. Just pull slightly, like barely, barely. But you don't wanna kill all the textures in here, you know? Cause there's actually textures in this tree, which I tend to, I like the textures, you know? You could slice in a few more things if you want. I mean, you, there's so much you can do with this. It, it's really amazing what, what you can do. And it's fun. This is so much fun to do this, all right? All right, Matt, let's see here. Moving along, moving right along. Now we got to put some leaves in, okay? So for that, I'm going to take some blue, black, blue, black, and some green. See that little pile right there is probably sufficient. Blue, black, and green. Now, got a lot of paint on here. So I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna start putting in, see big areas, see that? A couple there, maybe there. And I'm not being like crazy, I'm just, well, I, I, I am crazy probably, but I'm just kinda just dancing some color around. Blue, black, and some green. All right, leaving some pockets showing, little pockets of atmosphere, whatever you wanna call it, of the tree, where that grows. Okay, maybe some things here, there. Maybe it grows like this back over the tree. Don't be afraid to go over the tree, though. That's super important. Do not be afraid to put leaves in, you know, over the tree, a trunk. Did I say that right? Okay. Maybe there's some hangy down ones or whatever you want to call them. Okay, so now you got some leaves on there. Wow, that was easy. Was that hard? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now, I said I was gonna make this painless. I keep saying that. Let's take some yellow. Dirty brush, I, I did wipe it off. Yellow, maybe a touch of the green in there. See that? Yellow, green. Bum, 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 bum. All right, now I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna drop in just a few little you know, areas across this tree here you know, where, I don't know, maybe some of the leaves would, you know, would show through or whatever, you know? All right, a little yellow, green, whatever, you know, just use the corner. I mean, this is just very impressionistic, but this is, this is designed to give you a result, is, is what I'm hoping to give you. I want you to get that happy result feeling, like, you know, you've accomplished something, you know what I mean? All right, a few there, a few there. Dun, dun, dun. Just that little bit of that yellow green color, you know? I'm leaving a lot of the dark in here because I don't know, I think that looks awesome. All right, so now since we have that yellow, let's take a touch of the white to brighten that yellow up just a little bit. A little bit now in a few spots, I don't know. I always like to do this when I paint trees. Just add a few little thingies just here and there, not too much just to show some little 
you know, brightness, like some real good highlights, you know, and you don't have to be crazy about it. All right. So now let's do this. Just yellow and green is all we're doing here. Okay. Just so you know, nice yellow, green. All right. I got two. I'm going to put in, look, I'm going to slice this in. All right. I'm slicing in some yellow and green grass. All right. It's going to come down like this. Maybe this hill's going like this here. Very, very impressionistic. You can actually push up too if you want, see? With this three-quarter brush, you can push up and get these cool little textures. See that? All right. I'm still using the same yellow and green. If I change, you know, I will let you know. All right. But this is, uh, I think this is pretty cool. I like getting that, that result. You know what I mean? little bright spot there maybe you know but this is just yeah this is so this is like one of my favorite things to do all right now I'm taking some straight yellow here it's a little dirt but that's okay straight yellow and I want to go shoom, like this I'm gonna hold the brush sideways I just want some nice bright lights in here you see Nice, bright light colors. Very nice. Touching it around, just making a little difference in the background here. Let me just tone that down a little bit. Maybe some light's actually shining through back there. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You could swirl some through here if you want. I mean, you could do all kinds of things. Maybe some of it's actually growing up this tree here, you know? It could be doing anything you want it to do. All right. I mean, this is just, this is for a result. All right. Now, this is, this video is designed to show you, okay? I don't know how long this video was. I don't know, 20 minutes, whatever. This is what you can do, okay? This is what you can do right here in a small amount of time, just put your head to it and just get to it, okay? Don't look for excuses. You can spend another 20 minutes or an hour on little details and branches and things. You can do so many different things, but you have to believe that you can do them and you will be able to do them. I promise you, if you believe, you can do this. It's, it's, it's just as easy as that, okay? So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Hit like, subscribe, do all this stuff. I have more videos coming. So many things to talk about, all right? So I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to show you how quickly you can get a result. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. Maybe that's what I'm gonna call it. To get a quick result painting or how to get a quick result painting. I'm not sure, but uh, I love you guys. And uh, I'm trying to think, do I have anything else that I need to say? No, that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Seriously, I appreciate each and every one of you guys out there, all your support, all your comments. Thank you so much. Have a great day. God bless.